Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to part number three, my final part of the Tampa Repticon walkthrough. This was an amazing show. Grab a coffee or whatever you like to drink. Just relax. Enjoy the show. I want to make it like you're at the show. I don't add any music so you can hear all the sounds in the backgrounds. And I take my time to record everything, not just what I like. So I hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet and enjoy the show. Battery pack went out. Oh. I didn't get electricity, which I should have. It usually lasts at like 3 30 and most of the day. Yeah. So many to choose from.
Should I have a little? Uh, so far, we're at four clutches. Oh, that's not too bad. We're waiting on one. Between the four clutches, got a little over 50 eggs in there. I see your videos all the time. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like that, don't like I don't breed them. I don't have room for the big ones. Nah. Huh? Those that are gray and red. Oh, gray banded? Gray banded king snakes? Gray banded, Those yeah. are from Texas, yeah. They're protected. Those are nice. Those are really uh, nice. Hondurans, I wanted to get. I'm thinking of getting a boa, but like the. They have the ones that stay around five, six feet. So try to get like a Central American. Yeah. Although, he's four years old. Oh, yeah? There's a misconception that they got to get to a certain size. He eats a medium rat once a month. Oh, okay. so the equivalent, I give him two jumbo mice, which is the equivalent of a medium rat, and he's four years old. They don't need to get any bigger than that. Now you buy a female, you know they're gonna get. These yeah. are seven-year-olds. You, you get a hog that? island bow, even though they're kind of expensive these days. Mm -hmm. That's what they. Somebody wanted a pet. All right, guys, I'm here with Isabel. Isabel, and tell me what you got here. This is a bullfrog ball python. It's my first one. I have a corn snake at home. So you have one corn snake? Yeah, an albino. Albino, and this is your first ball python? Now do you plan on breeding them or is this just a personal pet? Just a personal pet. I'm excited to like watch TV with them. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And do you plan on getting any other types of reptiles? I want to get a hog nose snake. Oh, okay. Those are beautiful too. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Cinder stripe sunfist came out. Instead oh, of just nice. one last year, I hatched like four or five. And he's out a little bit more now, too. Oh, yeah. That's one of your, your future breeders? Exactly, yeah. That's a young male. He's just a year old. But there's really what makes them really blue gray is adding in the caramel gene. They're more blue gray. Oh, okay. More of them and more likely that the females are, too. Because this is another deal where the males are usually a little better than the females, especially first generation, of course, like everything historically has been. See that animal right there that has a really light back on lots. Very different. They're still the same color spectrum, and they're very pretty. I'm going to bring those two, or at least have really good photographs. Because I bred a nice blue shatter to an anatharistic sun kiss. And I figured if both parents are blue-gray, they should throw blue-gray babies. And I got two males and two females out of a small flush from the small female. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I'm going to 
gonna show you something. Else. Okay, I see what you mean. You but like yours that. is nice too. You have to be like, you have an eye for her. So Lee Abbott is among my favorite corn snake breeders. I have several of his animals in my collection and produce babies from his stock. Now I'm going to take a moment just to show you two of them, feed them, and we'll get right back to the show. All right, so we're going to start off with Paprika, female Abbott's Okatee. See if she's hungry. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Bo Now it's really, really dark in the room, so her colors look almost totally gone, but she just jumped out of the bin for that mouse. I don't think I even got it in frame. So she just stopped eating. She's looking at me now, so I'm gonna close up the bin, let her relax. Whoa! For the spiders, is it like a thing not to breed them to each other? Is it bad or is it that bamboo? I don't know which one. You can't breed spider to spider. Okay. Yeah. You can't do spiders, bamboos, champagne, woma, any of those together. So are those good just as a pet or you can breed them with other things? Huh? You breed them with other things. Oh, okay. And most spiders that I have, they, they're, they're my best feeders, my best breeders. A lot of people What happens are. if you breed them together? They die. Oh, The okay. babies die. Yeah, when the genes cross, you get spider to spider, they, they don't survive. I saw something online about the, like a bobblehead, like where it moves. Well, that's, that's just spider in general. Oh, a lot okay. of them have it. Gotcha. Breed blackhead to it, it gets rid of it. Oh, okay. These were all yeah. old when you get, oh, that's good. This is a dollar, it's just on the electric alone. Hey, boss. How are you? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, you, you, that you have? Yeah. First one is all slugs. Oh, uh, yeah. They were probably better off anyhow because I would have had 60 babies at one time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a bummer when that happens, though. Yeah. When you really wanted a collection, then. Yeah. That's the first time I've read Colubers in years. I had a girl that did that two years in a row, and I switched the mail. And the clutch was perfect. So in that case, I guess. You see us at the USR on the table. We're at.
Yeah, I will. I gotta look at banner that way. still in that business man and you know you don't get around oh yeah it's always you know it's always the big thrill hope and pray this year is going to be good doubt it you know it didn't go nearly as much as tickets I but i mean i certainly thought it'd go over big but i think all the boys today are going to be able to keep it alive i told them everything to do i said if you got any questions does it does it, does it, does it show up can you really see it <clears throat> it's kind of weird but if you look there's little tiny gold speckles in a couple. I mean, I kind of see some just gold a, just on Just a few, just a few little speckles, and that's. I never seen one in person. Yep. Yeah. So it's hard to say. Um, this comes out of that Lee's, you know, the double head pink coral palmetto thing. Yeah. So don't know for sure what. Uh, I mean, some of the other ones might end up looking a little different. It's hard to say. They have a lot. It would probably look about like that if it's still alive. It should look like it should look like that. Iron Man bust. So I was like, what the heck is that? It's gonna be really heavy. I'm like, what is it? It weighs like nothing. Yeah. And he's like, oh, it's 3D printed. I'm like, what's that? So I started Googling. We're doing ball pythons and stuff at shows and we started bringing 3D prints and people went nuts. So I was like, okay. Oh yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're insane. What's his name about it? What is his name? I know his name and I forgot it. Yeah, I, I'm the same. I'm, I can <laughs> With all the other shows leading up to it, my inventory is always low. Same thing. We don't. We didn't do the Reptilian Nation show. There's another big 3D print guy that goes there. So it's like, you know what? I do 35. You talking about last time? Oh, 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 oh just wait. Actually, white out ghosts. I like that 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 effect it has on it. Very like a uh, pastel yeah. kind of look to it. Yeah, that's interesting. This one's got a funky little pattern. They got so much crap. Oh, he's cute. It's going to be in boxes for the That's cute. It's been kind of hit or miss recently, but luckily all my customers are very patient and they don't mind. They're like me. They, they would prefer the gecko be safe or onesie costumes. <laughs> I told him it wasn't Halloween, but he wanted to wear it. He insisted, so I said, okay. Well, yeah, like the snakes we do, we can do down to 40. Yeah. And they'll be fine for weeks. So shipping is not a problem. Right. So. And it's good to be the king. <laughs> what was that from? History of the world? You know? That's wrong, right? Trans Amarillo. We use it easy. It was a one day, and I'm like, I don't want to drag this way, Casey, with me. It's so much for her as Ann Deli Cops. I'm going to put them on the table like this. I, it, I did really well. They create a barrier. You know, if somebody wants to see something, they have to ask. This way, they can just come over and just pick it up and look at it. I'm like, oh, you like that? Here, let's get that for you. Can't do this deal. But I don't really have any of that crazy high-end stuff. Yeah. You know, it's in a thousand. But if I was missing one right away on the end, and as we sell, we condense toward the middle. Just attend this for fun. <laughs> Last year was bad for the vendors. Yeah, it was terrible. A lot of people were selling way underpriced. Yeah. Well, I mean, stuff. there was hardly. Here's how you hardly, know the tunnel was bad. There was hardly any people coming well, through the door. Look at the door. Instant from here. Oh well, my goodness. <laughs> and I ain't paying three hundred dollars to smell his ass or look at his ass anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't paying three hundred dollars to smell his ass or look at his ass anymore. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's probably the issue.
That's not a tomato plug, right? Is no. It? Okay. It's a, it's a type of narrow mouth coat from Africa. They call, they call them painted bullfrog over there. But these don't get big like the bullfrog. No, right? oh, okay. Max, max size on this would be like that. Oh, okay. And they got tiny little mouths. So, like, those guys right now can't eat anything bigger than, like, a half inch cricket. Oh, okay. So, you can cohabitate them, unlike Pac Man frogs, which put each other in their mouths. <laughs> I feel like they're they look like yearlings for <laughs> They're beautiful species. snakes though, tiny things. The young guy was like, I was like, well you can't for the one time. I'm sorry, I don't have any money. Well they have a they have a card uh, card reader over there. Yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> and then he went, why are you broke? Hello. And I'm like what? male stripper, oh, okay. and I do this, like, because he, he's he's got a smaller dog, and then it, then he's like, he's like, hey, hey, what's his stage, what's his, what's his stage name? <laughs> That's amazing. Did he give you one though? Uh, yeah, even was like frog guy or something like that. Yeah, nothing, nothing good, nothing good. He was even the king of queens. And then, uh, and then he was like, Queen Adam. And I'm like, Queen Adam? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like two minutes. I grew up with this Okay, that bridge in my ex We were like, remember Log? You, you grew up like I did, man. Saturday morning, got a rock bridge. I looked at them and I was like, I know this guy, how are you? <laughs> we like going to Cocoa Beach. There's a lot of Cocoa Beach. That's nice, Andrew. I think we did a long time. You done with yours, darling? Yeah, 
need to do a funny, some funny shirt. You guys have an idea. You're very creative. You can come up with ideas for funny. Yeah, the one over there was okay, right there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to say I have a I'll have that one as well. I don't have. Oh. Yeah, one, the Gecko company has, has a Gecko fucking wall. Um, there's no talk in there. Just, just a Gecko fucking wall. Makes it even better. Um, yeah, smile. Um, huh? Oh yeah. Keeps everything nice and steady. I want a big enclosure one day. Big enclosure. Yeah. yeah. PVC is always yeah. the best. It looks. It looks good. Yeah. Where's the fifty dollar bill? Oh, you have a YouTube? Yeah, that's really cool. I think you have one. I've been playing and been watching your video. Yeah. Oh, you don't look like you got it. I think you're about to lose that stage. Huh? Oh, what do you collect? Oh, huh? What do you collect? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I had a lot of fun going to this show, making a little vacation out of it, meeting a lot of new people, and looking at all these beautiful reptiles. Now, I always post videos of walkthroughs whenever I go to shows, as well as all of my amazing colubrids in my collection. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like videos like this, feel free to do so. It helps out the channel tremendously. Now with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.